Hey everybody, welcome back to another grocery haul. I am back from my little vacation. My husband and I went on a cruise with Royal Caribbean for our 10 year anniversary. So that's why there was no video last week. We had a great time and now it's back to reality. Back to grocery shopping, back to cooking. It was so nice to just eat out every meal. Um, but I'm excited to get back into the kitchen. I have a two week meal plan for you. It's in the description box. And then real quick, if you're new, my name is Ashley and I live in Southern California. I have a family of four and my budget for groceries is $225 for every two weeks. This is a two week grocery haul from Aldi and a few things from Costco. I'm going to go through everything. I'll pop the prices up on the screen and let you know what I'm using everything for. This is half of the groceries and in a second I'll go through the other half. My recipe links are in the description box as well as the full meal plan so you can see what we're making for the next two weeks. I try to plan um, certain meals on certain days, but sometimes things switch around and I know that at least at some point I have the ingredients to make all of those meals. Sometimes we switch days around if we're not feeling it, but that's how we stick to our meal plan. We're just really flexible and I have everything on hand. So let's get started. All right, and it is fall. I got these Harvest Sugar Cookies. My kids love these cookies. They come out with different holidays. They have them at like Walmart and Target and Aldi. Um, these are just like fall themed with like little Halloween sprinkles on them. And I know my kids are going to love them. I think we're going to watch Hocus Pocus 2 tonight. And I thought I might make a little like dessert board. And I think it'd be fun to put these cookies on there. Also, I'm going to put some pretzels and graham crackers and this pumpkin spice cheese spread. I'm not a huge pumpkin lover, but this is really good. It tastes like cheesecake. It's so good. Also good on apple slices. So that's going to be on our board. And then this salted caramel apple spread. We're going to try this out with some apple slices and grapes, um, pretzels, graham crackers, all the good things and this should make it taste even better. I will review this on my Instagram. Anything new I try, I review on Instagram so you can find out if it's good or not. So let me know. Did you watch Hocus Pocus 2? What did you think? Don't give me spoilers, but let me know if you liked it. I'm very excited. It was like one of my favorite movies growing up. Next, I got my kids some Pringles. Aldi does sell their own brand of Pringles, but we don't like them. Um, so the kids like taking these to school. I got two. For breakfast, I picked up two pounds of strawberries. They look super ripe, so we're going to have to eat them pretty quick. To go with those strawberries, I'm going to make French toast. And this is the bread we like for the French toast. It is the brioche from Aldi. And I'm going to make a bunch of French toast, and then I'm going to freeze some of it. So the reason I'm making a bunch of French toast is because I have a whole carton of egg whites in my fridge that I need to use before it's not good anymore. So I figured I would meal prep some French toast. I'm also gonna meal prep some breakfast burritos for my husband, he loves them. So I got some extra large flour tortillas for that. And for his breakfast burritos, I got him some sausage. It does say this right here. I'm not gonna say it out loud because if he knows he might not eat it but I know he's gonna like it and I know <laughs> that it's gonna be good. So I'm just not gonna tell him, honey, go away. <laughs> I don't want him to see it. I'm hiding it. He's coming out because he's listening to me, nosy. Um, next, I got these eggs. I have a dozen in my fridge as well as the egg whites, but since this is gonna be a haul for two weeks, I'm not shopping next week. I wanted to get another dozen just to be safe. I ended up getting the brown eggs because they were cheaper than the white eggs. The white eggs were like $3.89 a dozen, and this was cheaper, so I went with the brown eggs because I'm all about saving some money. Next, I got some apple juice. The kids like to have juice in the morning. I also got orange juice. My daughter Scarlett asked for cinnamon rolls. Um, on my last grocery haul, I bought the already made cinnamon rolls that are in the bakery section at Aldi or the bread section. The kids didn't love them. One of my kids ate them, but didn't really want them, but she ate it. And then my other daughter didn't like it. So she asked if we can get the kind that we bake. 
I was gonna get the Aldi brand, but they didn't have it, so I just got Pillsbury, even though it was more expensive. Then I got one vanilla coffee creamer. And I think that is all for breakfast. All right, my husband came over and checked out the sausage, so now he knows. But I don't think it's going to be that hot. And I'm using this one pound for eight giant burritos, so it's not going to have a ton of sausage in each burrito. So I'm pretty sure he can handle it. I think he'll be good. Um, all right, so then for <laughs> he's like, can't handle you. Okay, anyways, sorry. Um, lunches. So... Let's ignore this really quick. I did go to Costco. I was looking for chocolate muffins. My daughter wants to take them to school for lunch. They do not have chocolate muffins. It might be because they have pumpkin right now. Um, but I did get the blueberries because look how big these are. My kids love when the blueberries are like giant like that. So I had to get it and I'm glad I did because it was the same price at Aldi for 12 ounces as this was for 18 ounces. So that was a great deal. Also the grapes, I love the grapes at Costco. I don't know if they're in season or what, but they had a ton and these are like the crunchiest grapes you'll ever have. They're really good. And such a great price for three pounds. They had their Go-Gurt on sale. Aldi has their own version of Go-Gurt. It's called Moo Tubes. And they have some funky flavors and then they also have blueberry, strawberry. Um, this was a better deal because it's on sale. So I got this from Costco and it has 32 tubes in here. So that is gonna last quite a while. So the berries, the grapes, and the gogurt are from Costco. Instead of muffins, I got these butter croissants. Um, I did get some mini croissants from Aldi two weeks ago and the kids like taking that in their lunch. They like just like a snacky lunch, a croissant, a cheese stick, a yogurt, and like an apple, and they're completely happy with their lunch, maybe a little dessert. So I got some croissants because that's a great deal. You get 12 really big croissants in here. So those will be for school lunches. Also the romaine, a really good deal. Six heads of romaine. That'll last us for two weeks for Caesar salad. So all of those are from Costco. The only other item from Costco is a rotisserie chicken. I'm going to meal prep some chicken salad for the week. And I'll have a recipe for that linked below. I'm going to use this. I'm also going to use some of the chicken to freeze and make some chicken soup next week. So that is for that. So that's all I got at Costco. I'll put my total for Costco on the screen so you can see how much I spent at Costco. And back to Aldi, I got some snap peas. I like doing little lunch snack boxes and these are really good in that. Also, some baby carrots. They didn't have the big carrots, so I got two bags of baby carrots. I got one package of string cheese. It comes with 12. For lunch meat, I got another package of salami. I have one in the fridge right now, but I just got another one because this will be good for the second week. This lasts a long time if you don't open it, so I'll use this next week. And for lunch meat for this week, I'm using this rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. This is actually pretty good. It does have a very strong chicken flavor, so if you don't like that, if you don't like rotisserie chicken, you won't like this, but it really does taste like rotisserie chicken. It's pretty good. I picked up some hot dogs for the kids for lunch for the weekend and some hot dog buns. I picked up these banana peppers because I'm going to roll it with the salami and cheese for like a little snack plate. I also got some blackberries. These are gonna go on our dessert board tonight for our Hocus Pocus 2 night. And the only reason we haven't seen it yet is because we were out of town when it came out. Then I got these turkey snack sticks. This will be for a little lunch snack plates as well. Also, this not your average cheddar. If you like the unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's, you're gonna like this. It's pretty much the same thing. And this is going to be really good on snack plates. I might throw a little cheese on that board we're doing tonight, the dessert board. I like dessert cheese as well. And then I got some Caesar dressing. I got two. I picked up four bags of croutons. We go through like two a week. I picked up some shredded Parmesan cheese. This is for Caesar salad. Then I got two boxes of shells and cheese for lunches. We do this for lunch on Saturdays after soccer. 
and it's equivalent to Velveeta. And lastly for lunch, my daughter wanted these Minion Chicken Nuggets. So I think she's had them before and didn't like them, but she swears she's going to like them. So I will review these on Instagram as well. They're so cute. And here are all the dinner items. They are doing some gardening outside, so sorry for that. But starting out, I just wanted to share this dessert real quick so my husband can stick this in the freezer. It is apple cinnamon ice cream. Cinnamon ice cream with apple chunks. My husband loves cinnamon and apples, so I think he will like it. It's a pint for that price, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be gone really quick. Then my kids have been asking for ice cream sandwiches for a while, and Aldi hasn't had any. These are a great price. You get 12 of them, and they're good size as well, and that's just something nice that they can just grab on their own. Now to dinners. So I have a two week meal plan. The, move, the meals move around sometimes, but for this weekend, we're gonna be doing Philly cheesesteak stuffed bell peppers because the kids are gonna go to their friend's house. One of them's going to a soccer party. The other one's just going to her friend's house. So it's just gonna be my husband and I. So I got this shaved beef. That's gonna be really good for Philly cheesesteaks. We've used it before. I got some provolone cheese for that. Also some mushrooms, and then I got green bell peppers to stuff them with the cheese steak, seasoning, um, mushrooms, and cheese on top. It's going to be so good, and I'm going to do that with french fries. The seasoned fries from Aldi are our favorite. I got an extra bag just to have as a side for weekend lunches, after school snack, whatever. The kids like them all the time. We're going to be doing some pulled pork with mac and cheese. So I got two boxes of the mac and cheese for that dinner. I already have the pulled pork. It's from Costco. And I've had that in my fridge for a while just for an easy dinner. I'm going to make some coleslaw to put on top of that. That is another dinner. Another dinner we're going to do is grilled cheese and tomato soup. So I got some bread for that as well as some sliced cheddar cheese. This is new to us that we're going to be trying out. The kids don't like soup, but they'll eat the grilled cheese. Maybe I'll do french fries with that. And then my husband and I are going to try this tomato parmesan bisque. I've heard it's pretty good, so I will let you guys know over on Instagram. Um, that pulled pork is a big package, so a couple days later with the rest of the pork, we're going to do quesadillas, like barbecue pork quesadillas. And we're going to have black beans on the side of that as well as some corn. I already went over how we're gonna do chicken and rice soup, so I got some chicken stock for that. I already have carrot, celery, and onion. I got some jasmine rice for multiple meals. Then I got some chicken thighs. The family pack was cheaper than the smaller pack, so make sure you check because this was four cents um, cheaper than the small pack of chicken thighs because the small pack was more per pound. So I got the big pack. We'll just have extras for lunches. We're gonna have that with green beans. I got two bags of green beans for that. Then one night we're gonna do salmon. So I'm going to pan fry the salmon. I have a lot of lemon in my fridge to use up. We'll do that with rice and broccoli. Aldi has the best broccoli. <laughs> Then I got a package of chicken. It's decently priced. It went really high for a while and now it's starting to go back down. So this will be two meals. One of them is going to be um, grilled chicken Parmesan. So I just season it, um, grill it, put Parmesan cheese on top, provolone cheese and some sauce. I got three jars of sauce for that. Another night we're doing spaghetti and meatballs. So I got some spaghetti noodles. And I got these already pre-made meatballs from Aldi. They're like sausage meatballs. They're really good. We just air fry that. So that will be another dinner. Then with the rest of the chicken, I'm going to do like a Mediterranean chicken. I have the Mediterranean dressing, salad dressing from Aldi. I'm going to marinate the chicken with that and just grill it. We'll have that with asparagus. And then I'm also going to make a cucumber feta salad. So I got some feta cheese and a cucumber, and then somewhere around here, oh yeah, I got some cherub tomatoes. 
So that will be really good when we do spaghetti and meatballs. I got some garlic bread for that. This is not on our meal plan, but it's a really good tempura shrimp. My husband likes it, so I just got that for him. He can make it whenever for lunches. And then this is something we haven't bought before. It is the Aldi brand pizza dough. So we're going to try this out. I wanted to do English muffin pizzas, but they didn't have English muffins. So I pivoted from that and we're just going to bake this up. And then I also got a full cheese pizza that we're going to have next week for pizza night. And I'm just going to throw this in my freezer and they can cook that while I'm at work next week for pizza night. So that is everything. I spent $210 at Aldi. That is for two weeks of food. I don't think I'm going to the store next week for anything. Um, I do have to do a Walmart pickup haul to stock up on some cleaning supplies and cat food. So I might get a coffee creamer. But that's it. This is two weeks of food for my family of four. Make sure you check out my meal plan down below, recipe links. And I'll be back in two weeks with another large Aldi haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these budget grocery hauls. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. If you want to see what we're eating day-to-day -day basis, follow me on Instagram. I post my stories there almost every day. And you can see the meals in real time that I'm making with all of these groceries. So thank you guys so much for your support. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.